We're now going to take you through what you need to do to complete the practical assessment. This is all about you applying the knowledge you gained from NG1 and NG2 and using it to complete a risk assessment based on your own workplace wherever possible. The examiner wants to see you produce a practical and workable risk assessment that could be implemented quite easily if required. It requires some technical detail, more than just a few brief words, and should give the examiner confidence that you are of the required standard for NEBOSH to award you their certificate. The practical assessment is made up of four distinct sections and you must complete these in a sequential order as follows. Description of the organisation and methodology used, the risk assessment, prioritise three actions with justification, and review and communicate and check. You must complete all the sections and all the columns as requested. If you don't follow these rules, you could be awarded a referral and we want you to avoid that at all costs. In the following elements, we will guide you through each section in detail and set you a task to complete for each section to try and apply your understanding. You can then compare your copy with ours using our mock case study before attempting your own submission on the proper NEBOSH form, which you can download online from the NEBOSH website. NEBOSH have also produced their own worked example, which is produced at the end of our risk assessment guidance. This is also available in the assessment pack on the NEBOSH website. We've included the NEBOSH recommended work count for each section, which gives you a guide as to how much to write. Now have a go at completing each of the four sections of the practical assessment.